Hi LEGO fans, it feels like I've been waiting all my life for LEGO to release a working roller coaster. We got our first look at the new LEGO roller coaster elements back in November last year with the Joker Manor. And now within a matter of days, LEGO have released two fantastic new roller coaster builds. First came set number 10261, roller coaster from LEGO Creator Expert. Yes I do have that and yes I am working on a review video, but I recognise how expensive that is and I wanted to focus on something a little bit more affordable. So today I'm going to be unboxing, speed building and reviewing set number 31084, pirate roller coaster from LEGO Creator 3-in-1. This is a much smaller set, but also comes with a much smaller price tag. You can pick this up for about $90, whereas its big brother is going to set you back about $380. So you could actually buy more than four of these sets for the same price. We're not getting any mechanization or motorization here, but what we do get is a very cool looking set. The 923 piece park count includes four minifigures, including this very cool looking pirate. We're also getting a bunch of those brand new roller coaster track elements. And of course, some roller coaster cars. We've got three of those linked together. I really like the pirate theming Lego of giving this roller coaster. It looks awesome. And there's also some really cool box art. I love the way this thing is shown on the boardwalk. And do I recognize that pier from Santa Monica or have I been playing too much Grand Theft Auto 5? Being a three in one set, we do get a couple of alternative builds we can make from this. We're going to take a look at those as we flip over onto the back of the box. Here we get a closer look at the pirate roller coaster, but when it comes to a three in one set, that is not all. Oh no, that is not all. We can also build this cool pirate ship style ride, and there's another build that spins round and around and makes your minifigures feel sick. These are all separate builds, and because they use the same pieces, you can only build one of these at a time. All of these look like really nice builds, but I'm going to be focusing on the main build today, the roller coaster. Before we can get cracking with the build process, we need to open this up and see what we've got inside. Here's everything that came inside the box. We've got 12 bags of Lego with no numbers, so you may want to sort out the parts before you start to build. And a 322 page instruction manual. I'm going to go ahead and build the Lego Creator 3 in 1 Pirate Roller Coaster, and today this is going to be a 90 second speed build. And here's the completed pirate roller coaster. Now, before I get started on a review, a little correction. I implied earlier that Lego roller coasters were a new thing starting with the Joker Manor. That's not strictly speaking true. In fact, I already have a roller coaster in my collection. It belongs to my daughter. That's set number 41130, the Lego Friends Amusement Park roller coaster from 2016. While the Lego Friends roller coaster was very, very cool for its time, these new roller coaster elements are much more like the real thing. The Lego Friends set was great fun, but it was more like a converted train ride. These are very smooth tracks with much steeper angles and allow for a more realistic roller coaster build. Although this is smaller than the coaster from LEGO Creator Expert, it's a really fun build. Build time was an hour and 46 minutes, which compares very favorably to the seven hours and 12 minutes it took to build its big brother, not to mention a few hours of troubleshooting. But don't be fooled by the shorter build time. This is actually quite a big set. The roller coaster is over two feet long, nine inches high and 12 inches deep. So you're gonna need somewhere to display this. 
I plan to display it in the same area as the large roller coaster, but I'm definitely going to need to reconfigure LEGO City somewhat. The layout of the coaster itself is a little on the simple side. It's pretty much what you would expect from a junior roller coaster at an amusement park. There's no motor or automation, so you are going to be pushing the car around on your own. And there are a few design flaws, one of which is particularly dangerous. But we'll demonstrate that in a few moments. So we're going to demonstrate this roller coaster, take a look at all the cool pirate theming, and have a detailed look at those minifigures. The ticket booth is a great place to start, and immediately you can see just how colourful this set is. It's built on a raised level, allowing water to flow underneath. That water is presumably flowing from the water splash, which is located just next to the ticket booth. There's a window where you can buy tickets, and it's manned by this minifigure in full pirate costume. There's also a really neat palm tree, and a colourful little parrot keeping his eye on proceedings. On the other side we have a cannon, and far from being a decorative item, this is fully functional. We can drop in blue elements to pretend that it's firing water. It works a little bit like this. That's actually got some serious firepower, and if it wasn't for my studio lights, that would have gone a lot further. The entrance to the ride is reached by climbing up these rocky steps. These almost look like they were hewn from a cliff, but somehow I don't think they would pass disability regulations. With ticket in hand, we can pass through the turnstile and underneath the colonial arches. There are some really nice details to this build, and I particularly like the bottle left behind by a drunken pirate on top of the ramparts. The loading and unloading area is pretty cramped, and I've never seen a roller coaster boarded on a curve before. I'm a little bit worried about our junior rider. How is he going to sit down inside the roller coaster car? And come to think of it, how do kid minifigures sit on the toilet? Maybe I'm overthinking this. In reality, the kid actually fits in there quite well, but I am a little bit worried about that guy at the back. He doesn't look so happy. Overlooking the boarding station is the control tower, and there's some traffic lights to tell the attendant when it's time to go. Speaking of attendants, it looks like our pirate friend is not only the ticket taker, he also gets to push the buttons and release the brake. Speaking of breaking things, have these guys never heard of health and safety regulations? I mean, if he steps backwards, he's going to have a very bad day. The controls are pretty simple with a button to go, a button to stop, and another one presumably for the brake or to make it go faster. There's also a golden drinking chalice, which I'm sure contains water. What do you mean the rum's all gone? With all safety checks completed, it's time for the car to leave the station. With no intermin launch mechanism to accelerate our car into oblivion, we've got a long ride up the hill courtesy of the imaginary chain towards the skull and the crab. What was I thinking? That's not a crab, it's an octopus. It should be easy to make out with that elongated body, weirdly sentient eyes, suckers, and of course the eight, uh, three legs. But seriously, the octopus is quite a nice little build, and it must be quite exciting for the riders to see as they climb the hill. They'll also spy their spooky skull, and may regret their life choices as each one of them gets bashed on the head. I've got to say I really do like the theming in this roller coaster, and it's really cool to have the seaweed, and little details like the algae on the support which really adds to the underwater theming. Underneath the next pillar we've got some more seaweed which is home to a crab, and there's a rather jolly skeleton guarding the treasure. Once the car reaches the top of the hill, it's pretty much go time. Or it is if you push hard enough, so let's give that another go. OK, that was another practice run. This time it's for real. That's better. As the train barrel by, you might have noticed the very cool shipwrecked pirate ship. This is actually a really detailed little build, and I love the way the track goes straight through it. There's no doubt in my mind that this is an homage to the pirate sets of the late 1980s, even down to the red and white sails. The ship is broken in two down the middle, and you can see the individual ribs of the ship's side. We even have the remains of the ship's rudder and the ship's wheel, and the crow's nest perched high overhead. Now the roller coaster doesn't exactly have any braking system, so instead we've got a rather neat water feature to help slow down the car. OK, so it didn't really slow down the car enough to stop in the station, but it's a really cool feature nonetheless. There are two very cool transparent blue water elements that flip up when the roller coaster hits this lever. That's also assisted by the cantilever, which uses gravity to help those things flip up. And to capture all the action of the water splash, and of course to bring in some more galleons, we've got a camera for those all-important ride photos. Speaking of extra revenue, LEGO even included a little balloon cart. There's no doubt this set lacks some of the wow factor of the Creator Expert roller coaster. I mean, technically this build is on a different level, and we can't achieve any of the mechanisation goals 
dolls we got with the Creator Expert set. But as a toy, this is so cool. 10 year old Jeremy Herbert would have loved this almost as much as I do. Sure, you can't just set it going and have it rolling around all day, but this is a lot more tactile, it's more colourful, and it definitely lends itself to more imaginative play. And above all, it's suitable for the age range it's advertised for. 9 to 14 is perfect for this set, and I know a lot of adults have had problems building the Creator Expert roller coaster, myself included. But that's another subject for another video. And before we wrap up this video, we need to take a look at those awesome minifigures. We've got a really nice minifigure lineup for the LEGO Creator Pirate Roller Coaster set. LEGO doesn't give these characters any official designations or names, but it looks like we've got three riders including a child, and a theme park employee dressed in pirate uniform to complement the theming. Why are pirates so mean? Because they are! I'm definitely seeing minifigure parts that were used in other LEGO sets, so I'm not certain if there's any exclusives here. In any case, I think these guys complement the set really well. Here's a closer look at our female rider, and she's a great minifigure. She's wearing purple pants and then this pink and white halter neck top. You can tell it's halter neck because it's tied at the back. Also, she's got this really cool flower necklace on there, which uh, I think just complements the outfit really nicely. Great facial expression, really like that big smile, those freckles, and the reddish brown hair. We also have an alternative expression on the back here, and um, yeah, I don't know whether she's puckering up for a kiss there or whether she's just dreaming in the queue while she's waiting for the ride, but uh, really nice expressions, particularly like that one on the front, and that's our female rider. Next we've got the kid who's got those shorter legs and the green baseball cap to match. He's also wearing a basketball top with the number 39 on. I don't know what the number 39 symbolises, maybe it doesn't mean anything, but uh, I did wonder at first whether it might be the year Lego was formed, but that was actually 1932, so that kind of blows that out of the water. Turning him over, you can see we've got the big 39 on the back there and some triangle printing, no, some diamond printing with kind of dark red, red and orange on there. Almost looks like flames on the back. I've definitely seen this print before, so it's not exclusive. Now this kid looks kind of mean. Usually these kid facial expressions look really cute. He's got the freckles and everything, but that expression kind of says he's up to no good. Uh, just my opinion and your experience may differ, but that's the kid who's riding our pirate roller coaster. This guy looks less than impressed to be going on the roller coaster, despite the fact that it's clearly designed for kids. He looks terrified, um, but he does look quite cool here in the dark blue pants, and he's got this blue hoodie on here with a green t-shirt underneath. A nice bit of metallic printing on the front there for the zipper, and if we flip him over, yes, there's the telltale hood on the back. But that expression is awesome. He just looks terrified and he's gritting his teeth. Really nice hairpiece we've got here. And on the back, we do have a slightly more calm down and confident expression. So you could use that if you don't like his terrified face, but I kind of like that and he's going to stay like that in my collection. And finally, we've got our ride attendant who is dressed in full on pirate gear. He looks awesome in those khaki pants and then the red and white top, which is paired with a blue vest. If we turn that over, you can see, yep, yeah, we've got some buckles on the back there. A Little bit of slightly metallic printing, just looks awesome. I don't know whether this is an exclusive print or not. I'm guessing it's probably been used before, but look at that face. It's just so gnarly with the eye patch, the ginger beard, and those aggressive teeth in there. He is wearing a uh, kind of bandana or headscarf here, red with the uh, knot at the back. If we take that off, there's no alternate expression. We can get a closer look at that gnarly face. He is very cool and I really like this minifigure. So great to get a pirate in this pirate roller coaster set. I couldn't possibly call this a comprehensive review of the Pirate Roller Coaster set without taking a look at the Pirate Roller Coaster car. I'm actually showing the car on a piece of track from another set which you might recognise, but this piece of track does not come with this set. I also thought it might be cool to add in another couple of pirates. Riding up front we've got Boson Will from set number 6235 Buried Treasure from 1989, and from set number 4195 Queen Anne's Revenge from 2011, a full 21 years later, we've got the very Veritable Captain Jack Sparrow. This set uses the same standard style of roller coaster cars that we also see on the Joker Manor and on the Lego Creator Expert roller coaster. Except in this case, Lego have added some shark theming. At the front, we've got sinister eyes and modified Lego elements for the teeth. We even have the two tone coloration you normally see on a shark. In the centre there, just ahead of Captain Jack Sparrow, you'll see the shark's dorsal fin. And at the back, we've got the shark's tail. 
the underside of the roller coaster car comes with free moving wheels and if you look very carefully you might even spot some small posts sticking out of the bottom. Although not used in this set it's the part of the car that hooks up to the chain when you're automating one of these Lego roller coasters. And finally those pieces you see extending from the side of the car simply help the thing stay on the track. So that was set number 31084, the pirate roller coaster from LEGO Creator 3 in 1. If you want one of these, it's going to set you back about $90, but I don't think that's terrible value for money given the amount of innovation LEGO has built into this set. We've got almost a thousand pieces here, and that includes a good amount of the new track system. I've already seen lots of adult fans of LEGO commenting online that they're going to buy multiple versions of this set just to build a big roller coaster. And to be honest, it's probably a more cost effective way of doing it than buying the LEGO Creator Expert version. Although I'm sure somebody watching this video has already done the math and will prove me wrong. I really really like this set and it comes with my top recommendation. And that's not bad considering I've not even built the other two models that you can build from this set. The pirate ship and the whirl and hurl also look very cool. And if money was no object I would probably buy another two of these sets just to have the three of them together all themed in the same pirate theming. But Lego's very expensive and YouTubing doesn't pay very well. So what do you think of this set? Is this something you're going to go out and buy? Or is there something else among the plethora of sets that LEGO just released in 2018 that catches your eye instead? As always, feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. I really hope you enjoyed today's Pirate Roller Coaster unboxing, speed build and review video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like down below and subscribe for more awesome LEGO content. Thanks a million for checking out today's review, stay safe and we'll see you on the next build video. Why are pirates so mean? Because they are!